In this video, I'd like to show the scale capabilities of our new plugin, as well as show you the difference between opening a figure by himself and importing him into an, an existing assembly, because there are some differences there. So, first of all, in this uh, instance, I have opened one of our Zygote characters all by himself, and like I showed in the other video, if we have the Zygote Human Factors tab on, we can easily rotate, manipulate, and uh, move him around. Now, if we wanted to scale him, the first thing we do is actually turn the Zygote Human Factors tab off. So we would click on any of the other ones. And over on your left, you go down to your Scale Properties, and you edit that feature, and that brings up the percentile slider. And we can slide him anywhere from 5th percentile all the way up to 95th percentile. So I'm going to make him a 95th percentile. I'm going to say go. And it takes it just a minute to figure out each piece, because it looks at each piece and scales it appropriately. So I'm just going to hit pause for a second. And so just like that, about 30 seconds later, he has grown to be a 95th percentile man. So it's pretty simple when he's opened by himself. Now, it's a little different when you import him into an assembly. So I'm going to hit pause now and do that. Okay, so here we have an assembly that I have imported this beautiful chair into, as well as our male figure. Now, unlike before, if we click on the Zygote Human Factors tab and we click on the character, he doesn't work unless he is the active assembly. So if we click on Zygote Male and do Edit Assembly, he's now the active assembly. And when we click on him, we can now pose him. So just one extra step when he's imported, rather than um, just opened up like before. Now, there's also a difference when we scale him. To scale this figure, the first thing you're going to want to do is turn the, um, the Zygote Human Factors tab off, just like we did before, but also you do not want him to be the active uh, object, the active assembly. So once uh, we're back to the default, we can scale him, but unlike before, when we were able to go down to Scale Properties and edit that feature, if you try it this time, it'll give you a little error saying, please use Scale menu from the Zygote Human Factors menu. And this was just a technical thing that we had to overcome, and the way we did it is with uh, this menu item. So we click on Zygote Human Factors, go to Scale. Now this time it looks a little bit different, and the reason is it's asking you which uh, figure you want to scale and this is in case you have multiple figures in your scene. So the first thing we need to do is go to the scale factor of this particular model. So I click on scale property, it pops into place here, and now I'm able to scale him up or down. And this time we'll scale him down. And again, it's going to take about 30 seconds, so I'm going to pause. And so now he's down to being a fifth percentile man. Now we could again click on him and do edit assembly, and click on the Zygote Human Factors tab, and again we can start to pose him again. So that's the difference between importing and uh, just opening a figure by itself. Now if you happen to have him as the active object, or you have the Zygote Human Factors tab on when you try to scale, it'll actually work, but it'll just look a little funny for a second. So let's try that. So I've got him active and I've got the tab on, which I'm not supposed to do. I'm going to click on his scale factor, scale him up to 95th percentile, and I'll show you what happens here in a second. So as you can see, he looks a little funny. And it's not a big deal because if you just start to pose him again, um, if I click on his leg and rotate it, he pops into place. Everything from the joint that you're rotating down the chain um, just pops into place. So it's just a little a little glitch if you if you don't uh, or if you do have him as the active object or you've left the Zygote Human Factors tab on um, he doesn't pop right into place like he should. Now the other thing you're going to want to do when you're importing a, a figure into your existing assembly is make a copy of him uh, in Windows. Uh, so you just take his folder and you copy it and open him or import him from that new folder. Otherwise um, if you put him in your scene and you pose him and save him, when you try to do it in another scene and pose him, he'll be in the in the position that he was in in the first scene. So each time you have a new project, just make a copy of his folder and import it from that.